Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Richard the Dick Coughlin and welcome to Dick Dynasty and here is a video that isn't about Elliot Rogers. I don't have much to say on this other than the fact that I'm going to stick to whistling and shouting at women from the safety of moving vans because I don't think this whole shag me or I'm going to kill you malarkey is going to catch on. It's a fad folks, it's like, you know, it's like, you know, pogs. For those of you who don't know me, I need to tell you a bit about myself. I am a bit of a masochist, I have to say, and it's because of this reason that I subscribe to the Alex Jones channel. Those of you who've been watching me for a while will know I've done several videos about Alex. He's somewhat of one of my muses. Occasionally he does come along, and I do love the, just the over-melodramatic stuff that he does, and just the, consi the consistent inconsistencies within everything he fucking says. I remember several years ago, I saw him make a video, and it was entitled... World War Three has already begun. Only about a month ago, he uploads a video saying the plans for World War Three have been put in action. Right now, Alex is a little bit preoccupied because it's his sort of it's sort of like the Herp Derp Festival has started, which is of course the annual Bilderberg meeting, which is apparently taking place in Denmark this year. And Alex has been going batshit crazy. It's, it's methadone for paranoia junkies, that thing. And what I love about the Bilderberg Festival is I think I reckon the actual conspiracy involving the Bilderberg group is that all they do for the entire three days is they stand there by the windows with binoculars looking out and laughing at all the fucktards that are standing there you know making up all these stories about stuff they're apparently doing in there like you know like setting fire to children it's a day out, isn't it? The protocols of the elders of twat, I like to call them. But the other day, Alex did a story on something. Now, Alex doesn't get most of the shit right when he's reporting stuff that's happening in his own country. So when he occasionally comes along and tries to do a story about something that's happening in the UK, I always find it remarkably amusing how bad he is. He has had UKIP members, including Nigel Farage, on there quite a few times talking about the Marxist conspiracies that's going on in the UK. Very, very droll. But the other day he did a video, and I just, from the, from the second I saw the title of the video, now this is something interesting, Alex talks about the mainstream media a lot, and how they try and, dis, you know, they try and mislead people, but Alex videos, Alex's videos on YouTube are a prime example of that. First of all, I think it's worth pointing out that Alex talks about how everyone's trying to suppress the truth. I want to point out, this guy has nearly a million subscribers on YouTube. YouTube, one of the, you know, corporate megalodons of this fucking age, and he has got nearly a million subs. Couldn't they just delete his channel? I like to occasionally send him a tweet and point out that it's nice of him to expose the corporate overlords, or, no, but the, the fact that Twitter have allowed him to carry on having an account. But of course, we can't expect people to think these things fucking through, can we? But this video was interesting because the title of it was incredibly misleading, not only from the story that it, it projected, but the fact that the video itself doesn't even talk about what the story is. Alex's video was entitled, The Word Girl, The Word Girl Banned in the UK for Being Sexist. That's a pretty sort of definitive statement, right? It's not, has the word girl, but it's not doing the Fox News thing where it goes, has the word girl been banned? No, it's, the word girl has been banned in the UK. Banned. Now, it wasn't banned. I just want to make this clear to you all. The word girl has not been banned in the UK. If you don't believe me, I'm from the UK. I've said the word girl repeatedly. Please, you have my permission to send this to the police and ask them to arrest me. The actual fucking video itself, he doesn't even talk about the word girl being banned. He talk, he claims that the BBC has banned the word girl, word girl. Now there's a big difference here between the word girl being banned in the UK and the BBC banning it. The BBC is not the UK as a whole and the BBC has no power or authority to ban any word whatsoever for any and anyone saying it. They only have the power to control what they put out. But when you look into the story, that's not even true. The BBC has not banned the word girl. Now, it should be noted the source for Alex's story here is the Daily Mail. 
It's interesting how Alex does not seem to like mainstream media and how the mainstream media are all trying to mislead and control everyone and yet he's quite happy to believe any old shit that's pumped out by a mainstream media source in this country or anywhere else as long as it agrees with him. Right? Alex Jones is about as anti-establishment as the fucking Queen of England, okay? But then you look into the story and you see even that's not true. The BBC has not banned the word girl. What happened was there was a showing of what is the Commonwealth Games, which is an athletics thing, it's like a mini Olympics, it's the Commonwealth Games, and they had a BBC presenter, his name was Mark Beaumont, and they had him fighting uh, a, 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 woman, a woman, she was a judo champion, her name was, I believe, Cynthia Raming, right? And she's a 19-year-old judo champion, and they had him fight her, and she took him down, obviously, and, that. and he said, during the live feed, this was what he said, he says, I'm not sure I can live that down, being beaten by a 19-year-old girl. That was what was broadcast. Now, the BBC, who I will admit, have a bit of a fucking bad habit of constantly sort of over, you know, being oversensitive, but they have to be oversensitive. They have to do this because they're publicly funded. Right? Only a few complaints need, yeah, and they need to fucking sort of rethink everything because they're constantly being undermined by fucking establishment organised uh, uh, media sources like the Daily Mail and the Telegraph, which was the only other story that brought this up. Uh, they're constantly being undermined because they're publicly funded, and of course, people like this don't like publicly funded things. Right? They don't like things that are publicly funded funded. So the BBC, in an act of, yes, you can say, it, of, of oversensitivity, thought that maybe that sentence could cause offence because he called her, uh, he said, like, I can't live that down, I was beaten by a girl. It's a bit, it's reminiscent of a clip from the day to day where Alan Partridge is beaten up by a girl in a judo championship. But the fact is this, they edited it out on the repeat. So they just, they, they cut out that one sentence on the repeat. Now according to the Daily Mail and all the others, it's like the BBC being mauled for all, and they're not being mauled. No one talked about this. No one gave a shit because no one noticed. Mark Beaumont's exact words on Twitter were that he didn't think, you know, he, he said maybe the editor thought it was sexist. He wasn't intended to be. I'm not worried about it. So that's his thought. The woman Cynthia Rahming, her words were, I wasn't offended. I didn't find it sexist. So there you go. They didn't care. He didn't care. No one else fucking cares. And to prove this to your point, right? And this is something I said. I, I posted a comment on this video saying this story is bollocks, by the way. I'm from the UK. It's completely blown out of proportion. And, and some one of his fucked says, BBC banned girl. Google it. Okay, so I googled it, and not only did I just find the two sources to it, one was the Huffington Post, which doesn't count as a source, right, because it only ever gets its sources always other real media outlets. However, I am linking the Huffington Post because it contains links to the two sources, which was the Telegraph and the Daily Mail. But this is the other interesting thing I found. Now, I want you to look at the dates on these screenshots I'm going to show you. I got these yesterday. These are from the BBC News articles. You ready? Go. Right, news from Glasgow and Scotland on the BBC website. Family tributes to train deaf teenager. The family of a 13-year-old girl killed by a train. Right, here's one from the BBC News in Devon. Girl, 12 years old, dies in Exeter Youth Club. Right, that's from the 24th. Right, this is from the 25th. Girl, 16, held over stabbing of old and woman. Right. Here's one from news, BBC News, Japan girl group, AKB48, attacked by male fan. Right? The BBC have not banned the word girl, but Alex Jones extrapolates this out to the point where he says, you can't even say the word girl and there'll be people, he claims there are spies sat in restaurants in London and Sheffield, just these two places apparently, waiting to hear you say the word Muslim or homosexual or girl and they'll arrest you. Right, it's bollocks, right? But what's even more bollocks is the way Alex Jones extrapolates this out. And it's such inc something incredibly stupid and convoluted that I can't be bothered to respond to it. So I'll leave you with this. This is the rest of the video being responded to by everyone else on the internet that I could find that could respond to it. Richard the Dick Coughlin, good night, may God be less. Enjoy. It's not just pediatric cancers up 10,000%. <laughs> It's not just diabetes up type 2, 3,000%. In the Hispanics, it's more than that. Indians, as they were known, back when folks thought this was India. What? Just like Europeans can handle smallpox, because smallpox has been in the old world 
for at least 10,000 years. They can dig up the bodies and see it. It was never here until Christopher Columbus showed up 500 plus years ago. See, this is, but see, I'm not supposed to even have a scientific discussion here of fact and tell Hispanics how to not get their legs sawed off. What are you talking about? Every day, every day, I want to do a report on this and blow their faces, and I see the Hispanics with their legs chopped off, young and old. It's a, it's, 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 it's a genocide. Whoa. Europeans come from the Ice Age, ladies and gentlemen. Bloppers. All over the nation, they're saying no more Halloween parties. No, God, please, no, 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 no. You can't have taco parties or siestas or fiestas. Go fuck yourselves. Fuckers. Guys, type in BBC presenter arrested for using the word homosexual. Okay, Alex, I just did that. Here we can see BBC presenter arrested for using the word homosexual. Absolutely fucking nothing. There's a guy who got arrested on sexual offence charges. There's a guy, there's a, there's a guy who was a, there was a gay activist guy who was apparently died. There's another one who was done for a mercy killing. Uh, there's stuff about UKIP, Kel Surprise. Uh, absolutely nothing, 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 nothing! What are you talking about? What? You only say what they say. You need to shut the fuck up. And then you're politically safe and, and, and you'll be secure in the fold with the niche you've been put in. This is called cult programming. Anyway, what are we to do with this dim-witted twat flap? It is simple, Senator. We shall send a ninja death squad after him. They were all wearing little sombreros on their heads. Is that a little party? No, 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 no. And they were having a fiesta party, too, because they were racist. So you were basically at a Klan rally. <laughs> What's racist is, well, or sexist is, if somebody on a bunch of drugs in psychiatric care who's mentally ill goes out and shoots people, John, it's your fault. So do you want to take blame right now for the killings in California, John? Ben? I, I might as well. Well, I want you to apologize right now because you're a male and you're white, doubly. I, well, I mean, we have the same idea to eat fajitas, and and people are having margaritas because we're racist. It's not that we like the food or the or the, the you know that culture, and but 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 these Mexicans, because we ended up partying with them some. They spoke pretty good English. You know these guys and their senoritas, and we were all kind of had all of us kind of had a party, and it was because it was because we were racist. Government run uh, colleges. Say, you will not be a geisha girl. You will not be a cowboy. No stereotypes. You will not be an Indian. You will be nothing, see. And now in Europe, passing laws where you're arrested, if you use the word girl or homosexual, there's no law saying those are illegal words, but they put spies in London restaurants spying to hear if someone says a word that's wrong, and they arrest you. This is just training you that you're disappeared. You want to put 20% of children under the age of 17 down to age two on antipsychotics, psychotropics and speed that brain damages them, that's fine. You want to engage in every obscenity out there and have breast cancer exploding everywhere with glyphosates in the entire water supply that literally on record they admit grows the tumor. Not why are our women all dying. No, no, just see, see, because, well, you know, we'll have a race. We'll give some money to the cancer institutes and groups that are openly covering up the fact this is an engineered program. And we'll all just go along with the social engineering and feel good about ourselves. 
And and again, 